Uh, three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back now. As always, if the first thing you can do on this video is you're going to guess the three things, right? You're going to hit that like. You're going to hit that subscribe button and you're going to hit that bell if you haven't already so you get a notification every time I do go live. And then the fourth and final thing you're going to do, if you do all these things, I will love you guys forever. You're going to go and click my Twitch that is going to be down in the description below. And you can also follow that as well. So I do stream five days a week, including all 60 weekend league games, my rewards on a Thursday and all that good stuff. Anyway, I just want to say a huge thank you as well, man, first of all. Today, like, in terms of, like, the YouTube channel, I'm just going to go a little bit of in-depth of where we're at, right? I was uploading a, like, every so often, just more rewards, a little bit of gameplay highlights here and there. And it took me about a year to get a thousand subs. Probably a little bit less, actually. Probably about eight, nine months to get a thousand subs, yeah? And then we've gone from a thousand subs to 4.8 thousand within the last month as well. So imagine this took me like nine months, about ten months, I'd say, to get to a thousand subs. And then once we then got to a thousand subs, it only then took us a month to get to like nearly five thousand subs. It blows my mind, and that is all down to you guys. I just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you for that. Because at the end of the day, I make the content, but if you guys don't like the video, you guys don't watch it. So without you guys, I would honestly be nothing. So I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I know probably a lot of YouTubers say this, right? But I can't actually stress this enough how thankful I am that you guys show up and show mad support for every video as well. The amount of likes and comments we get. I know I reply to every comment as well. So I know a lot of you guys will probably comment because you know I'll reply. But honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you, man. Because honestly, without you guys, I would be nowhere. Do you know what I mean? Like, this wouldn't, wouldn't be anywhere. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to show you is that this might be a little bit controversial. Because I, I know a lot of pros are probably going to be like, why are you uploading this video, right? I'm going to show you the best custom tactics and the best formation in terms of how to see out a game and how to defend a lead in the last 10 minutes. This is key, okay, because you only want to change to this formation in like from 80th minute onwards, the last 10 minutes of a weekend league game. Because I know a lot of you guys will probably be playing the weekend league. For example, we've got the BPL. I'm recording this on Friday morning to go live on Saturday morning. So the B I haven't seen the BPL team of the season announced yet, but BPL team of the season is this weekend. In the weekend league, you guys are going to be full-blown sweat. To get these red rewards that are now team of the season cards, you know, we got Courtois, PK, and who's the one we got on this account? Can't even remember. But this is what you guys are here for, isn't it? Oh, we've got Bentacore as well, wouldn't it? So Bentacore, Courtois, and PK is who we're playing for this week. But in the PPL, man, we're not playing for no Courtois and PK. We'll be playing for that team of the season, Jungmin Sun. We'll be playing for that team of the season, Aguero. We'll be playing for these type of cards. So you guys are going to want to know how to see out a game and how to win a game. So it's why I'm going to drop it on a Saturday morning so you guys have got all of Saturday and all of Sunday to watch the video and hopefully it'll get you, help you get them a few more wins in the weekend league. Now, let me stress the importance of this, okay? You only want to switch to these custom tactics and formation when you're winning a game and it's in the last 10 minutes. Please let me stress that to you. Or the last, like, 10, 15. These custom tactics are not viable for a full 90 minute game. If you use these custom tactics for a full 90 minutes, you will lose, I promise you that. And also, if you are like an aggressive defender like me, these custom tactics probably won't suit you anyway, but they do work in terms of seeing out a game and seeing out a lead. So that's a little bit of a disclaimer at the start of the video, I just wanna say. So once again, only last 15 minutes. If you use these for the full 90, you will get your ass whooped, okay? So don't use it for the full 90. That's kinda of like what I'm saying. But anyway, I'll show you my normal custom tactics, okay? You actually, you know what, you guys know that I play pressure on heavy touch, five width, five depth, four, two, three, one. For example, you go, you use these getting behind on your, uh, getting behind and stay forward on your striker. On all three of your cams, balanced and get into the box for cross. On your right CDM, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover centre. On your left CDM, your what I class your CDM that you want to be a ball player. You know, you want to get forward, get into the box. Have your CDM on cut passing lanes, but leave them on balanced attack so they will help you get forward. Alexandra, well, both my fullbacks on stay back while attacking and overlap. So they are my 4 2 3 one custom tactics. My 4 4 2 is pressure on heavy touch, 5 width, 5 depth. Six width, six players in the box. Two on corners, two on free kicks. You want to lower the corners on free kicks on both on every single custom tactic you ever use, or else you just get scored on from counter attacks. You don't want that, okay? Four four two R nine and team of the year CR seven up front. Neymar and Mbappe on the wings. Hullet once again is the left centre mid. De Jong is the right centre mid. That will, you'll see why in a minute. You want both your strikers on getting behind and come back on the fence. These aren't to see out a game, by the way. I'm just showing you my normal custom tactics. So the custom tactics I would advise you to use. 
for the first 80 minutes of a weekend league game. Obviously, if you if you're if it's in the 80th minute and you're like five nil up, there's no point in then switching to a defensive custom tactic. This is for when you're playing someone that's good and the pressure's really on. You need to park that bus almost and see the game out. Okay. So get in behind and come back on defence on both your strikers. Come back on defence, get in behind and get into the box for cross on your left mid. Come back on defence, get in behind and get into the box for cross on your right mid. Your right centre mid is stay back while attacking and cover centre. Your left centre mid is completely balanced on everything and also cover centre because you want Rude Hullet to get forward. I'm actually going to be using the 4-4-2 this weekend for the BPL team of the season. It's a formation now that I just have the most success with. I think I play better with two strikers, so because of that, I'm just going to play 4-4-2 this weekend. Stay back while attacking and overlap on both my fullbacks. Now, they're the two custom tactics I would recommend you to use and formation in the first 80 minutes of a game. What then happens when you come up against someone that's really good and you have to defend your heart out for the last 10 minutes? You have to defend that lead and see the game out. Well, I will now show you. You are going to want to go to a 4-2-3-1. Still the 4-2-3-1 because it is the most balanced when you use this, okay? Let me change it, actually, just in case I do end up using this this weekend. Because I will be going full sweat mode for the BPL team this season because I want them top 100 awards on my RTG and my pay-to-win account. Mainly for you guys on YouTube because you guys like top 100 awards. So, we want them. <laughs> okay? So, Alexandro and Nelson Semedo as fullbacks, obviously. Now, the instructions you are going to want to use, okay? You are going to want to use stay central on your striker, okay? This is very key, okay? Stay central on your striker, get in behind on the attacking runs, and come back on defence. And also, you're going to want to use conservative interceptions, okay? This means that your striker won't be running around like a madman like Edler Schicken. He will just be staying up front. This is key for the counter-attacks, okay? Because at the end of the day, even though you're still defending a lead, the counter-attack will be very important because if you're playing a good player that is trying to push... Blah, I can't even get the words out. If you're playing a good opponent that's trying to press forward and win win the game, you're gonna you're gonna have opportunities to counter attack and get that two goal lead and boom, game over. GG's in the chat. Okay, so you want to get in behind, stay central, conservative interceptions, and come back on defense, on defensive support. This is key, okay? This bit's key. You're going to want stay forward, get into the box for cross, and free roam and conservative interceptions okay you're going to want to stay forward on the cam like i said because of the counter attack you guys might think this is a bit weird but you'll see what happens when you use this okay so stay forward get into the box across a free roam on the cam so he has the free roam and the license to free roam which is very key in terms of counter attacking opportunities Excuse me, conservative interceptions on your middle cam okay you're going to want conservative interceptions on all three of your cams and there's a reason for that, okay? And then on your ramp, you're going to want to come back on the fence, get into the box for cross and conservative interceptions. You're obviously going to want your wide players to come back on the fence. Because what a lot of people do when they're trying to attack and try and get, like, trying to score a goal in terms of, like, the last 10 minutes, they'll make their fullbacks bomb on. So you're going to want your wide players to come back on the fence to try and negate the attacking fullbacks of your opponent, okay? Very, very, very key point, okay? And then on your land, the exactly the same. Come back on the fence, get into the box for cross and conservative interceptions. What the conservative interceptions will do is it will mean that they very much stick to their position in like a very much a rigid 4-2-3-1 defense, which is very hard to break down. I probably shouldn't be doing this video because if any of you guys play me in the weekend league and use this against me, I'm going to hate you forever. But it's a risk I want to do. I want to help everyone improve at FIFA. And in the end of the day, I trust my own FIFA ability to overcome someone using these tactics. So don't mean to be begetted, but that's just how it is. <laughs> There, what you're going to want to do with the conservative interceptions is it goes very rigid in a 4 2 3 1. Okay, so your three cams won't they won't be running around and like leaving the defensive positioning over like open, if that makes sense. And on your right CDM, you're going to want cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, leave them on normal interceptions and cover center. And you're going to want the exact same on your left CDM. You don't want your left CDM because normally I play my left CDM on balanced attack, but when you're trying to see how I lead, you're obviously going to want stay back while attacking. Okay, leave them on normal inter interceptions as well because you don't really mind your two CDMs like being quite aggressive in their terms of intercepting. So you leave them on normal interceptions. You are then going to want your fullbacks on stay back while attacking for obvious reasons because you don't want your fullbacks bombing on. Okay, you really, 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 really do not want them bombing on. And then what you're going to want on your keeper, okay, is uh, probably you guys have never done this, right? Wait, did I just click the wrong one? You guys are going to want sweeper keeper on saving outside of the box, okay? This is very key because what a lot of people will do when they're trying to get back into the game is they will try and spam a lot of through balls over the top. But if you play with the sweeper keeper, okay, 
what this will then do is it will then make Smike, like for example, I've got Smike on net. He will come out for those long balls over the top, okay? Now, in terms of the actual tactics that you're going to want to use, you're going to want to use balance three depth because I know you're trying to defend and see out a lead, but you don't want to go too deep or else you will just be inviting pressure on yourself and it will be very hard, especially against someone that's good, to try and hold them out for like 10, 15 in-game minutes. So balance, five width, three depth. Offensive style, you are going to want long ball, okay? And you're going to want players in the box down to four. The reason for long ball is because what will then happen is your cam and your striker will run straight away. They will go on... They'll make those runs over the top, so you will have a very good counter-attacking opportunity. It's a very good custom tactics, but like I've already said, they're not very good in terms of sit, like for a full nine minutes. I wouldn't use these custom tactics, no way, for a full weekend league game. No way, Jose, because it wouldn't work. But for the last 10, 15 in-game minutes or the last five in-game minutes when you're really struggling, this is always worth it's always worth having a custom tactics like these to put on. Corners and free kicks, you're going to want to go down to one because you don't really want people from your corners and free kicks going into the box. You want as many people back to try and stop the counter-attack if that you kind of get where I'm coming from. Anyway, they are the custom tactics that I use to see out a lead and to be more defensive. If you guys are watching this during the BPL team of the season or any of the team of the seasons, good luck if you're opening packs. Good luck in foot champs and I hope you get all the red rewards. And if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that bell so you get a notification every time I do uh, every time I do drop a video. But I do drop a new video at 11 a.m. every day UK time. And also follow my Twitch; it'll be down in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Peace.